Hey guys, Phil Drew here. Uh, just wanted to give an update video and kind of vent my frustrations here. Uh, I am frustrated. Uh, this dang engine has been put together about a week now. Uh, I have had my share of struggles with the engine, which I was prepared for, but what I wasn't prepared for was a month to two months of waiting for a flywheel. And that is not to anyone's fault. Delays happen, back orders happen, and I guess I've been lucky for the past five years. I haven't had to really wait for any parts because the Z chassis is so common and there's been so many parts made for this build that I've never had to wait for anything. But as I mentioned, I'm at like two months now and I'm frustrated. I've never touched an engine before as in like opened it up or done it and I've stripped the threads and I'll share photos throughout this entire thing. I've stripped four head threads on this thing. Um, that could be due to my incompetence. That could be also due to, uh, just maybe I got a engine that was torn into that the previous person just didn't follow the proper steps. But after all that, after all the work I've done and I finished and I have calculated that, you know, I would have to have some time to, to put that back together. I'm still waiting. <laughs> so. I'm frustrated. <laughs> now, I don't know what I want to do from here. Um, there's some several things that some several, there are several things that I can do from here. Uh, my pylons, um, the, the base mount, the foot peg on the backside has cracked and this isn't the first time that's happened. So another frustration, I have a bit of angle iron and I'm going to remove the aluminum legs. Uh, or the aluminum mount, the footing here, I'll shave it off and use some angle iron and bolt it in. Now that might, that might sound a little sketchy, but uh, that angle iron is going to be a hell of a lot stronger than a aluminum weld, especially a poor aluminum weld that in my opinion, they should have welded either both sides. So instead of like an L bracket, it would be like a, like a T bracket. And they're doing that now after so many complaints, but also instead of just welding the top side, they should have also welded the bottom side uh, just to strengthen that. And who knows, um, that may or may not have fixed it uh, just due to the oscillation in the wing uh, laterally, which can happen, but I'm going to have to fix that. Um, other things that I can do, I can go get uh, hose fittings for my coolant from this to my heater core in the Z. Uh, I would still like to have heat in the car uh, just in case uh, there are humid days and the, w the windows fog up. And then last but not least, the only other thing that I really need to do is uh, open up the fuel tank and swap the fuel pump and add a return line, which I don't think is gonna be that difficult. Um, the only difficult thing is going to be routing it back into the uh, fuel tank. So if there's any suggestions on if I should use a uh, steel braiding or not, or uh, just general stuff like that, I would appreciate it. And the only other thing that I can think of doing on that is related to all this is opening up the VQ to see what's happening with cylinder number five. I don't want to do that right now. I don't have the space. <laughs> I have two transmissions and two engines in my garage floor and <laughs> Again, I don't have that much space here. I got a set of tires over there. I have all the parts that need to go back on the Z, but this needs to go in first. Um, engine hoist, engine stand, just a bunch of stuff that will be on once the swap is done, which is held off because of a back order flywheel. Um, I'm very hesitant to clean anything else up because all my tools are like readily accessible there and then all my home tools for automotive stuff is in that uh in that toolbox so i really don't know what to do it's also been 90 plus degrees for two weeks and i don't want to be in this garage because i sweat my balls off and for those of you that do not have hair 
you know the struggle, but everyone else that has hair, sweat just rolls off my head into my eyes. So I could be wearing glasses, I could be wearing anything else, I could be wearing a sweatband. But that's only temporary. I still get sweat in my eyes. And if anyone has played sports or accidentally got sweat in their eyes, it's very painful. So this is a venting video of just all the things that are going wrong right now. But silver lining, the engine's ready. I had to um, replace those strip threads uh, with time certs. However, the time certs uh, were at the top of the surface like it was level with the top of the surface and i could not find any helicals that are m11 by 2.0 so i had to kind of custom fabricate those time shirts to sit in the hole further down and then so the the head studs that i bought could fit y'all can give me flag for that i don't care uh engine's ready everything's clamped down so i'm not going to have a head gasket leak or blow a head gasket I also got some covers, so whenever I go to the cruise nights or the car shows, I can make some old folk angry because it looks nice and dandy, but it's not a Corvette. Hence, I have Corvette covers. But this is kind of where we're at. Um, the next lead time uh, that I've been given is two weeks. Two weeks from the shipping company to deliver to the distributor and then from there the distributor to me so i'm expecting three weeks but my hopes are running thin i'm i understand that there's delays when you do swaps and whatnot um and custom fabrication and what like i i have no none of those skills so thank god the drift boys and the drag boys have created kits to swap in and ls but i didn't think that a flywheel would be my hold up right now. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, it gives me time to do other projects around the house. Um, maybe I can drywall that. That's probably not going to happen. Um, been painting my first floor, so at least I got that done. It's been a year. Besides that, I, I honestly have no other idea what I can do. I'm just instructing at a local events and my only goal is uh, SCCA time trial nationals. So hopefully we make that. And then also hopefully maybe I can go to pit race uh, with SCCA. I love that track. The track is fun and it'll be better with a lot more power since it's got a long back straight. But that's pretty much it. I'm just going to close it out here. I'm frustrated, but it's okay. Peace out, guys.